Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen this is me Anayat Afridi and welcome back to my YouTube channel learning English with Anayat Afridi. Today I will discuss the third fundamental branch of grammar and that is morphology. Before I move towards definition of morphology let me tell you one thing important that the word morphology is basically a combination of two words. Number one morph means form and shape and logi mean to study. Now the word morphology in English literature was initially introduced by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. But in this lecture I will cover definitions of morphology from two sources. Number one, I will cover definitions from the English grammar book Outline of English Grammar written by George Stan and the second definition will be taken or given from the Webster American Dictionary. The definition given in the book Outline of English Grammar written by George Stan reads as the morphology as the grammar of words and their forms. Because a single words in English can have different forms. And right in this lecture, I will take one word educate and I'll give the different forms of the verb. Now in this lecture I will take a specific word and that educate having different forms and these forms are listed as educate, educates, educated, re-educate, re-educates, re-educated, educating, re-educating, educator, educational, educationally and the last education. Now the different forms of the foreign words are actually called morpheme and such sort of study is done in the specific branch of the grammar and that's called morphology. Now the definition given and taken from the Webster American Dictionary reads as the morphology as a study of word formation such as number one inflection, number two derivation and number three compounding in a language. Now the morphology also deals with derivational prefixes or derivational suffixes but it also deals with the inflection. The morphology also deals with derivational prefixes, words that we use before other words to change meanings of the words. Now these are number one, ante and the examples for that is the anti-rom or antidate, number two, anti, antiseptic, number three, Dis, dismember. Number four, none, nonsense. Number five, pro, profis. Number six, sub, subway. Number seven, super, supernatural. Number eight, un, unnecessary. Number nine, l, illogical. And number ten, counter and counter attack or counteract. Now these specific words are put before words and they change the meanings of the words. Now right here um, I have listed uh, derivational prefixes and let me name one by one. Number one, ante. Number two, anti. Number three, by. Number four, bio. Number five, near. Number six, co. Number seven, counter. Number eight, das. Number nine, four. Number 10, L. Number 11, M. Number 12, N. Number 13, R. Number 14, Enter. Number 15, um, Melly. Number 16, Post. Number 17, Re. Number 18, Semi. Number 19, Sub. And 90, Superb and the 20 is an. So we have different derivational prefixes but specifically I have taken these 20 in this lecture. Morphology also deals with derivational suffixes, means the words that we put after the words to change the, the class of the words. For example, able or able, it converts a word into adjective forms, for example, comfortable and convertible. Number two, and adding with the word changes that into noun or adjective, for example, African or American. Number three, Ness changes a word into noun form, for example, goodness or happiness. And the last one is the less 
changes the words into adjective form and that's for example we have we have three examples number one aimless number two shameless and number four hopeless i have the definitions for morphology rightly taken from webster american encyclopedia or dictionary and the outline of english grammar written by george stearns is understood along with derivational prefixes and derivational suffixes and do subscribe my youtube channel learning english with an eye of freely stay blessed and stay happy Thank you.